So let me say this about the last show that I've did that I did. Okay. I apologize for absolutely nothing that I said during that broadcast. I am not sorry for anything that I said. Do you want to know why? I spoke that which is true. The end. I spoke the truth. Who does the gorilla want next? Fucking everyone and anyone. I don't care. I'm not scared of anyone. I will fucking talk to you any goddamn way I want. Anyone needs to beat all these cunts. They're all getting it. Look at your fat ass nose, boy. That drink built like a swollen banana, boy. You ugly, boy. Oh, you play kickball with Russians. No, you play you kickball with shit, your little boy. feet. Damn. I'm fired. Nobody is talking this way. Nobody says anything like this. And it's not me bragging. It's not me be being all sweet on myself. It isn't that, folks. It's me making an honest appraisal of the situation. Not trying to be funny. Not trying to get a laugh. I don't want anybody to have the worst day at their job. What? Yeah, but the N-word won't say it. Look, look at you. Say it. Nigger. <laughs> <laughs> That's racism, man. I love to racism, bro. No. No. Don't do it. I'm a virgin. Ah. Uh, no playing with lizards and fucking fat breathing dragons but you're fucking ugly nigga look at your stink ass boy and you don't smell, you smell like, like a and i still feel that my own listening audience has not done enough and i've turned my attention far away from the psychopaths who run the world and i've turned my attention toward the people who want to complain about that yet do nothing Everybody that wasn't alive when I started and was gone, I have brought the spirit and put it on. If I get an email from Bill, who's a 30 year old who used to be real motivated. And it's not how he lost his motivation, he wasn't how he get it back. Well, Bill, you suffer from what a lot of guys suffer from nowadays. It's called chestnut syndrome. As a boy, you fucking nuts fall. But what happens in life is that. We think they stay down there. If you don't handle self-doubt, insecurities, fucking imperfections, jealousy, all these fucking things, allow people to bully you, fuck you around, your nuts start to retract back up. Insecure. Good. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh you sleep, bro! Bro, wake up! Bro, bro, is you sleep? Bro! Hey, you sleep, bro! bro. No, so you can't even put your head on the brick wall. That joint might crack. Your forehead, your forehead so strong, it got that much power. Mmm, so good and tasty. do it yeah um yeah that'll help a little look at ben he's going yeah that'll help a little jenny's going yeah okay yeah so let's call it a day <laughs> look at jimmy jimmy's over there going hmm, hmm, yeah so we're I done, done yeah i would have done a legitimate a legitimate investigation to find out what exactly happened on 9 11. how did they know who did this so quickly like they did lee harvey oswald who's going to investigate the investigators Who's going to investigate the prosecutors? Who's going to hold them accountable? Who's going to hold us public officials accountable? And that's all we're trying to do here, among trying to, in, in addition to trying to find the truth. Do you honestly and truly in your heart believe that Sandy Hook actually happened? Yes or no? no. All right, number two. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Because you're in jail. Secretary Clinton.
It's only just begun. Everyone wants to talk crap to me <laughs> just because I try to follow my passions. <laughs> Not ready for the space. You love money. Your ringlets are coming in. Dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Like, what was that? <laughs> dude, how long is that intro? I don't know. I make fucking <laughs> you make long You epic intros, intros dude. There, I, there's a lot of fucking shit I want to get through. I, had I hear you now. I mean. I had yeah. to delete some. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, that's a four-minute and 16-second <laughs> intro. Jesus Christ. That'll be ten minutes on the front end, you bitch. Oh, man. Yeah. This week was hard. <laughs> I was just driving all week long, and my fucking phone is right there because I'm just on GPS all day. And every time, it's just, like, fucking black notification from Patreon. Something Holy right. fuck, dude. This podcast is getting worse. Something was going on with you because you were not, you were not right. You were not in your right state of mind. You were saying some fucking god-awful things. Like what? Like your neckbeard fantasies of, like, the future where women are currency. When did I say that? When I was like, dude, I mean, I don't know. I just kind of like the idea of having silver and sugar in case uh, the power goes out. (laughs) And you're like, what are we going to trade? We'll we'll trade women, dude. (laughs) That's what it'll be. It'll be a feudal (laughs) system. It'll be a bunch of... This is one of your neckbeard fantasies, No, it's not, dude. dude. At first, the power grid's going to go out. And all these fucking assholes that talk talk okay. talk 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 yeah, yeah, like yeah, they're yeah, ready yeah, for yeah. the revolutionary war are going to be <laughs> fumbling to get their combat boots that they bought six years yeah. ago at an auction and putting on their night vision they're going to get shot in the fucking head by someone who was really ready and now they're you were just re- you were just very ready to trade whammon and you, were, you you mentioned it a couple times i'm just week. saying that's all i'm saying the people they were talking like oh what if the power goes down like Dude, you're like go to that girl's house. You were promised that girl. You were promised that girl. I'm just saying, like you guys deserve? can't really do that. But don't you think you deserve her? I mean, I haven't seen her yet. I have not. I, I think know. that life's a little fucked up now, and I think we should start changing stuff. <laughs> I think we should get more towards a masculine space. That's a good space to be. You in. started watching Last Duel. How sweet is the dowry thing? When he's like, how about that? How about that land, dude? <laughs> back then, it was very fucking. Good. I want that. Yeah, my fucking goodness. P- people just so nasty. So, I won't let, I mean, I won't look at them. I knew they were going to be bad, so I just won't look at it. I know? mean, like the the you were one, like, dude, they're so bad. I'm like, I'm not going to click on the whole they thing. They weren't even bad towards you. I mean, I haven't me. even clicked on the app. I'm Don McNabb patting my chest. Hey, that's on me, brother. That's on me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, I had an idea and, you know, I want to know. I I mean, we're obviously going to have these guys back on. Yeah, the can't two. wait. I can't wait. Get ready. We're gonna Prepare have, your we're anus. We're going to have both of. Babies. We're going to have Giuliano and Pilla on in the room at some point. You and then we're going to. I'm going to see what like because Bill is like, dude, wait till you get a load of these guys. Yeah, like the hype that I've been fed. I'm like, I want to see what Bill thinks is it's going to be. For some for some reason, I mean, obviously Pilla wasn't bringing out the jokes and. Anyone, hey, can, any, dude, anyone who get a listens, little gung shy around my friend, dude. This anyone who listens time. to this podcast, we've done like eighty of these things. Listen, to episode one. Yeah, pretty bad. Fucking <laughs> ground rules. This is not a comedy <laughs> podcast. Sometimes it's funny. Yes, dude. We can't fucking help shit like that. Sometimes we say shit that comedians are scratching our head at. Like, where the fuck did these guys <laughs> come up with that shit? I'm like, bro, it's just me being Dude, me. I'm just dying. Like, I keep, every once in a while, I laugh just thinking that Juliana thinks Pilla's being a hippie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand it, but, like, him being a hippie is killing me. And look, look at what we have to deal with. What? What are you doing? I, I, I'm a producer. I'm a <laughs> What are you doing with the microphone? I had to turn it down. I had to uh, turn down the headphones because yeah. it's like, hey, uh, oh, wait, let me take oh, off yeah, my podcaster don't... hat. Let me be a producer for a second. <laughs> we don't <laughs> have those guys, yeah. It's like these people just sit there like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, I don't know, trying stuff out. Yeah. It's not It's not the end of the world, then, you know. People named John, and there's a lot of Johns and a lot of Anthonys that did not like that episode. Sorry, man. Hey. It's probably just a subject matter. It's probably not even not even the conversation. People want- it is kind of an insane world where you get critiqued on how good your conversations are. It's dude. kind of insane. It's like, dude, you don't like it? Shut it off. That's it. I, I never I never thought to get so nasty with someone. I would do it as a goof with Legion. When Legion of Skanks podcast is around, I would say goof stuff to him. 
<laughs> but Jesus Christ, to attack me personally? Well, what do you want to talk about today instead? The false flag. <laughs> what false flag? Synagogue in Texas. Oh, I didn't, didn't even, even know, know they had this. I didn't even know this happened. You didn't hear about that? No. I have been just listening to music and taping and stuff. Jealous. Yeah, there was a uh, synagogue. I'm covered in dust. <laughs> yeah. There was a synagogue in Texas where this British, like this, supposedly this chick from Pakistan, like try to grab guns off of uh, American military and now she's in jail. So this dude went to a synagogue in Texas and fucking held all of them hostage and then got shot in the head. British dude, though. British. Just, just a British, British just a Brit. Islamic guy. <clears throat> okay. But the thing, it's just like. I don't, I don't. Something's up. There, it gets fucking weird now that Biden's back in town. Like, all the funny business happened under Obama. You can name any shootings. But, like, uh-huh. all the, all this stuff, this just reeks. When I see this, I'm like, okay, who does this benefit? And that, I, I see that, I'm like, okay, this is weird as fuck. Mm. Did not know there were synagogues in Texas. They're everywhere, dude. I saw a Chinese guy with a yarmulke on the other day. Shit confused the balls out of me. <laughs> he was driving a King Ranch and had a sin and had a yarmulke on. He's trying to every. He wants best of all worlds. <laughs> That's, he wants all the money. Yeah, that that. I was just like I like read a bunch of stuff about it, and the thing just makes no sense. Okay. Yeah. But I just I don't know like what the angle is like. Why why are these shootings going to start coming up again? I don't know, dude. I was checking out predictive programming. I haven't gotten to the bottom of it, but I'm going to... Like what? <clears throat> like the movies like, You know, about- like in the movies, and like I remember I was talking to Sassy Biggs about like the Nolan the Nolan Brother movies, yeah. like the Batman and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to go... I, I want to check out all the Kubrick movies. Stanley Kubrick movies. You got killed, right? I don't know. Allegedly. Well, a lot of... Apparently, there's a lot of esoteric Easter eggs, secret shit yeah. in his movies. So I tried. I watched 2001. I'm going to watch these movies. I had to shut off The Shining. Honestly, that shit's too scary for nighttime. <laughs> but, uh, Did you try to watch it at I night? I tried to watch it at night. Physically I like, impossible, dude. I, dude, the, the old black dude's like talking to Danny about The Shining like in the beginning. And he's like, and Danny's just like, what's in room 237? I was like, eh, we'll pick this up later. Just shut it. Just changed. I, I was like, I can't do this right now. I'm with He's you. He's riding a big wheel around, just fantasizing about blood rivers. I'm like, I'm the I'm the fuck out of here, bro. Yes. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm with you. I'm not doing this to myself. And me you and know? you were man enough to admit that. All these I'm, guys- just gonna, I'm doing it for the podcast. I've seen this movie met many times. Really? But, like, for some reason, I'm just so, like, I'm so bitch. Dude, it's scary. As I get older, too, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that right now. No one, you yeah. don't need, you need fun happy. You want to watch The Hills. Watch The Hills. Yeah. Watch that one. <laughs> that was sleep. bizarre. But yeah. yeah, that is some of the worst cinema on the planet. But uh, what do you call it? In the, in some of the Nolan Batman movies, there's a map, right? Of, of like a, of a section where it's going to get bombed. I don't know if it's the Bane one. It might be really? the Bane one. Was it? Uh, or trade. Batman Begins. I can't remember. I got to look into it. I'll, I'll pull it up right now. I'll show you the map. Was it the World Trades? No, man. So it's, it's just to your point on the... Uh, on the what? On the false flags. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's what... And no... Wait. You got it? Oish. Hold on. See, they put this shit in movies, dude. What? And like, there's a bunch of wacky YouTube... Sandy Hook was a strike zone in Dark Knight Rises. Like, they put all this wacky shit in fucking movies before it happens. And you're just kind of going, like, is it a coincidence? But in Hollywood's bad it has an insane batting average if it's just coincidence. For being right that many yeah. times, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, so it, it's like in The Matrix, isn't Neo's birthday November or September 11th? There's so much of that shit. I just want to check it out, you know? That's yeah. something I could look into. We could talk about. They're, they're right too many times in movies. Like, what was that one movie you were freaking out watching, saying it? Or it was a show, maybe, that it was like a, a biological weapon got released. 12 Monkeys. 12 Monkeys, what yeah. it's called? And it's like, like step by step, exactly what happened? No, that one's not it. Um, oh, you're. T- I'm talking about uh, the new HBO show. Yeah. Yeah, Station Eleven. Yeah, they just made a show about how a flu took out the whole world. And it was a book written in 2014. Really? I, and, dude, I'm telling you, I don't know if it's one of those things where, like, the... the <clears throat> so... I don't know why people are so hard for fucking 
bioweapons. I'm telling you, dude, like, this is, like, a thing, man. It's hard to fucking explain. Like, I was just doing that cheat rock. I didn't think we were going to do a podcast. Yeah. I, sh- I would have written this down. It's okay. But I'm just saying, like... Literally only so up there's from here. An idea, only up from here. There's an idea of a collective consciousness. Carl Jung kind of, like, yeah. put it in words. Obviously, it existed before him. Mm-hmm. He fucking discovered it by remembering all of his old dreams when he was a kid. Hollywood kind of puts dreams in your head. Yeah. Hollywood kind of creates dreams for you. Yeah, they can bring you there. You know what I mean? So, like, either there's a collective consciousness and we all end up in bioweapon virus land just naturally. We don't even know why. Yeah. Okay? Or the occultists know that we're headed there and kind of egg us on. They use and they try to, to surf the wave of the collective con- They're like, oh, shit, this is coming up. It's time for us to have a breakaway civilization, get ready for this virus, maximize the profits. The whole show. Which they So if you're like an occultist and you know this shit's coming, you're kind of peppering it in there in the movies because you're like, let's let's go to there. We're ready to play that game. And it's like they're getting ready for a sport, like a like a sporting event. You know what I mean? I feel like it's a weird like satanic thing where like they have to show you what's going on. I don't know. Like yeah, I I gotta flash a wiener in. Yeah, I kind of you know people say that. I don't know that for a fact. But they've been doing it. I hear you, but I'm just saying like. If you just take it from square one, be like, just imagine that they believe in the Carl Jung collective consciousness. Yeah. And then they're going to put this shit in movies. Like, dude, when COVID hit, Contagion was the number one movie. It was already 10 years old. Yeah. That's You know what I mean? It's weird. like, so were they pushing it? Like, Definitely. did they push it out there? Like, dude, check this out. This is what you're going through right now. Yeah. And it's I- like, how many of these movies have they made? It turns out. They've made a ton of shit about fucking in TV shows, in fucking books. Yes. A lot of the media that gets produced now, dude, also, too, I get that they're making a million other things at once, but it is kind of crazy. The that cream we, that rises to the top is very fucking bizarre. I'm just saying that we end up here, and then whenever we look back, it's not like some obscure fucking movie. We're talking Batman trilogy, Sandy Hook, pre-shooting. Yeah. Come on, man. It's, it's terrifying What's shit. What's going on, bro? And like, and where's the survivor? There's a survivor, of Sandy Hook. What? There's a survivor. Where? One of the kids has survived. Right? Really? No, I don't think all the kids died. Yeah. I thought they all got killed. I'll look it up again. Yeah, it is weird. Like it seems like the way they did it with like, it was like a wave of shitty stuff that happened when Corona happened. Like everyone watched Contagion, got in like ready for Corona time, and then it was just wave after wave of like psychotic fucking abuse. From the news and just in the, like a, in a general area, or at least where they want people to get all fucked up at. Okay, that's, that's her. Yeah, she survived. Yeah, I I don't I literally at this point I don't trust anything that's on the news. Yeah, right. like when they, when they're coming out about that, it's like, dude, fuck off. Like you show me squirrels fucking jet skiing and then this like I, it's everything is squirrels jet skiing. <laughs> I don't believe anything yeah. that comes up. It's just. It seems at this point everything is just to get you pissed the fuck off. Yeah, I mean, I it's like these. I just don't know if we live. We either live in a simulation, or we live in a world where like these cycles happen because it's just you. This is just human nature, and human nature is just your experience of life. So it's yeah. like if everything's universal and there's archetypes for everything, and Hollywood just kind of taps into that, and they're like, "Yo, check this out, check this out," and it's like it's a million like different. I don't know, like. It's like a multiverse where that, that you must, have all this stuff going on. This must be why civilizations get wiped. What do you mean? They like probably get this far. Like, this shit happened in 1918 with the fucking the flu. There was an anti-masker thing. Like all this shit already happened. Or that was their first try. Yeah, but I think like there was like plagues every like hundred years or some shit. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of d- diseases. I yeah. think once or eight, like because at this point, like you can't pull off anything. Everything's getting debunked within seconds. Yeah. Like, at this point, you can't fuck around. And well, like, also, too, they've got the population to the point where most people don't care if it's debunked. They're yeah. on. They're playing on another level. Yeah. I would, so they're, like, tapping into a part of the consciousness that, like, you mind know. Mind control. Yeah, this is all definitely mind control, yeah. It, yeah. it seems like MK Ultra. Like, that dude who fucking ran through the crowd of kids and shit. What are you talking about? The Wakosha or whatever. The dude oh, yeah, who the fucking ran his car through there? Yeah, it drove. When he was at that, the f- the footage afterwards, when he's on the ring camera, that yeah. looks like a fucking psycho. You think he's like a fucking monarch gone wrong? Well, like, yeah. these people, the, the 
government and stuff uses like celebrities and stuff and MK Ultra's them and fucks with their brain. Yeah, yeah. If I'm George Soros, I'm gripping up multiple people and being like, oh, there's a fucking Christmas parade. I got someone for that and fucking yeah, yeah, ignite maybe. that boy. Who knows? Because when it, when it comes out too, it seems like it's just like perfect. Like that shit came out and that dude had all those fucking videos and all those tweets about fuck white people and all this stuff. And it's like, it's the perfect thing to argue about. It is kind of crazy how the, there wasn't, you know, <clears throat> this is the, this was the Obama era. Um, I don't know what you, what the words are for this. Like playbook. Yeah. But like, this is the playbook that I would think is like the occult trying to push things into a direction Yeah, with like these weird capstone drill type fucking things. It's weird you know that they're always doing those drills and when they do that, like 9-11. It's they just do- like they take a break for Trump time. They pretty much took a break. I mean, you know what I mean? Hats off to the guy. Yeah, at least he stopped that. I mean, he obviously he pushed vaccines, and I'm pissed about that. I don't fucking enjoy that. But, yeah, it I'm is saying weird. maybe that wing of it didn't have the, the tentacles in, and they didn't have that much power. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is weird, though, dude, because I was in Home Depot today, and, like, I'm, I was getting, like, three fucking things. And, like... I, I think this is, like, the psychic terror shit you're fucking talking about. You know Crazy by Gnarls Barkley? Yeah. That song was playing, and there was a fucking boomer with a mask on, like, checking himself out and talking to the fucking computer. It's like, have a nice day. Yeah. Yeah, you have a nice day, too. And, like, everyone, I'm looking at everyone's like, yeah, I want to kill video, someone. If you had a video of that, that's because you're from the time before. If you had a pre pan you're pre pan Yeah. If you had, the to- if you had a video of that, like, if... 20 second video of that. It felt like the beginning of a bad trip. And you sent it back into the past. People would be like, that's hell. Yeah. Like, no, dude, that's just 2022. Dude, <laughs> I, I was sitting there and, like, you know, like you, you can feel like if you put a pot of water on to boil for tea, yeah. the fucking whistle starts to go, but it's not yeah. there yet. That was happening in my brain. I was like, I don't know why this is happening, but I'm angry. You're getting a little bit of the crazy. I was just getting yeah. heated. And I hear Norrell's fucking say, maybe I'm crazy, and I'm checking out, like, Maybe I am crazy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it was it was a weird ass fucking feeling. I don't know if this stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if this stuff goes in cycles. And there's people that have better knowledge of. They have a better like level of awareness of the world. Yeah. And they can just be like, okay, yeah, well, it's time for this. And they got hundred year plans because they live. They're like from a fucking five generation oligarchy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, imagine if your great grandfather was like, dude, when you're around thirty. You're going to have to deal with something like this. It'll be like being in school. You know? Like, I didn't want to be in school. Like, these people probably have, like, 300-year plans where it's like, yeah. yo, you have to do this for the next five years. And yeah, you can't like, say this anything. is your lineage. Like, this is how you get to eat. Yeah, you know? I mean, that that makes complete sense. But, like... It might be that. Who knows? But I, I'll get I'll get a little bit more to the bottom of it. Yeah, it, it really does seem like, especially now, like... The stuff that's coming out, there's just so many holes in it that it's, like, made to argue about. Well, there's certain guys that worked in the establishment of it, like Stanley Kubrick and the Nolan brothers. Like, I watched Memento. I sent you the picture of that dumpster. Yeah. Like I, psychotic 50-yard dumpster. psychotic dumpster. But, uh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm checking these movies out because these guys put the shit in the movies. It's like they're kind of telling – they're like, yeah, I'll, I'm playing – I'm part of the game, but also I'm showing people. Yeah. They're leaving breadcrumbs. Yeah, it's like and a light I'm, hypnosis. I'm here to munch the crumbs. Yeah. It, it is, like, it's brutal because, like, I can't watch anything anymore. Yeah, I mean, I just got to do a little daytime for The Shining. <laughs> I got Eyes Wide Shuts coming up. You know, I got a bunch of movies to get through. Yeah, that's like euphoria, Lolita. dude. Lolita. Whoa. You're watching it? I mean, it's one of the movies. Lolita. That's one of the Kubrick movies. Epstein's we'll Plane? We'll see if you put anything in Yeah, we'll see if you put anything in it. Yeah, that's what I was, I was <laughs> looking at shit about Euphoria. I didn't know. I can't watch that show, man. That was a Israeli show that got revamped for America. You don't say. That was. I saw that as you what fuckers. else is up, Bill? <laughs> leave, leave us out of this, dude. That's so fucking. That is just the way chicks like the like way that built, shit, dude. Yeah. The way chicks are like they're obsessed with it, and like grown women. Like I, this was my fucking jam up from the beginning. I posted on the Euphoria subreddit. Do you remember this? I remember this was when we were getting kicked off of them all. Yes. Yeah. I posted on the Euphoria subreddit. I was like, yeah. "This is weird." <laughs> Obviously, Bay has slamming ass, hot ass, slamming titties. 
but she's eight. They're being high schoolers in the movie. Yeah. That shit's weird. Wasn't there like a high schooler T-Bot fucking with like an old man? Yes. Yeah, it's not cool. Like in, in the show. You know what's fucking nuts? What the fuck was I listening to? They were talking about it. Oh, Tim Foyle Hat. They were talking about uh, Lil Nas X is on Sesame Street. Yeah. Singing like, the Elmo song like a year ago. It's like, dude. Come on, man. You can't even have those Google searches together. You can't have kids fucking checking out that one video when they're all naked dudes. Yeah. Come on, man. Jones was uh, – It's that, not my stuff. That dude's been right about a lot of shit. Jones was freaking out about Drag Queen Story Hour. Oh, yeah. And that shit came out of fucking nowhere. It was, ha-ha, RuPaul's Drag Race, guilty, watch it. I fucking admit when I was wrong, I was with a girl at a time that liked that show, and I fucking You're watched that it. Smut, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I can do is ask God for fucking You did your part, you know. I tried. I tried to fucking steer on the right path. Now we have Drag Queen Story Time. Supposedly, in schools, some schools, they're bringing Satanists in to explain to you why Satanism isn't that bad. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's just like... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, what the fuck's the point? They're going somewhere with this shit. Like, it's weird like to have little Nas X in Sesame Street along with the disgusting... The other theory, the other way this is going it, or is just that this is just all chaos. Yes. And no one knows what the fuck's going on, and everybody's like kind of freewheeling, like, yeah, sure, what's the worst that could happen? Let that happen. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, let them let the Satanists come in. Like, what's the, you know, what's the problem? We got to be tolerant and open to everyone. But you gotta, you gotta at least suss out when something's about to like. Is I'm insidious. just saying, like that might be over. The One of the only the scary movies I ever watched. Insidious. Yes. What was the movies that? I thought no, it might not have been it. Maybe it was. It was just like a haunted fucking house. It was either Insidious I don't or even some even other click stuff. Click on that shit, dude. Ooh, yeah, I watched yeah. it. Uh, I was sixteen. It was me and my buddy, and two girls down the basement. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, <laughs> so, and then they put that on. I was just like, "Oh yeah, we'll watch it." And in the movie, they kept playing the HVAC vent. Like the noise of the HVAC vent was a huge thing in the movie. Yeah, yeah. When it was nighttime and the videotapes were running, dude, I was fucked. Sixteen years old, couldn't sleep. It's a tough time for uh, for scary movies, teenage years. I don't understand. I don't understand how people try to champ those. Like so the, people like, get into it, dude. The horror, but yeah. but like you're going to sleep and there's not an out. Like obviously you're so cool, it's all fucking fake. They're cooler than you, dude. But most of these people have piercings and tattoos, dude. I understand. They get. Spook- They're not afraid of needles. They get spooky ass tattoos that yeah. I wouldn't sleep next to, but not a thought because like, anyone can talk tough when the sun's out. Anyone can say whatever the fuck they want. Like fuck that. Oh, that's a real ghost story. Fuck that. Emily Rose, whatever. When you lay your head down on that pillow. You're not telling me a little, like, you're not like, oh, maybe someone's in my room? I don't know, man. Some people, I'm alone a lot, so. Yeah, like. You know, my own head, my head's a, is a bad neighborhood. <laughs> you don't want to spend too much yeah. time up here. You bro. almost want the shining back yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that's a weird fucking thing to be into, though. I just don't understand the whole horror movie thing. Almost as I don't, almost as much as I don't understand the hardcore scene. What's hardcore? Like I, it's music? just gay ass music, dude. Oh, okay. I don't know why anyone likes that shit. Some like, people like it, dude. Oh, yeah, I just don't like it. I hate it. I, I don't like the attitudes it brings about people because they're super nice sometimes. But we'll get they, you. We'll get you to be a little bit more tolerant of all other people. Yeah. I'm I'm trying, but I'm just I'm like a dog that got beaten and I'm in fucking. You're really, you're having a tough week too. Yeah. yeah. Real judgy, people judging you, you getting all judgy. People are yeah. just getting up in my crawl. It's like, dude, try to fucking be me. <laughs> you wouldn't last a day. I was, I, no joke, dude. I was weak. Yeah, dude, I hear you. I, mean, I, I tried had, to lift. Yeah. And I, I was, dude. I was people underneath. People say mean shit to me before, bro. What? I've had people say mean shit to me yeah. before, dude. I was, know how it feels. I was underneath that barbell, 225. Yeah. Not cool. I was like, I'm not gonna Don't know how there. Schaub exists, for real. Yeah, it is crazy. <laughs> it's it's crazy for the people that fraud and they're like, "Oh, dude, I don't read it." Because like everyone fucking reads it. You cannot though. But you have at, to be making fucking money. At first, it's really hard, but now you know we're pre- we're in the like you know the later innings. Yeah, you totally not look at it. You just get the notifications. I get. Every you single- shut that off too, by the way. I know. I was going to it this week, but like, <laughs> yeah, I'm driving in my head, like having an argument in my head. Oh, dude, I didn't hear you. Yeah. No, when I was having those fucking heart palpitations. Uh huh. I was also, like, when I was taking a shower, I, oh, there was so much fucking hair in my shower, and now there's none. I think I was just stressed to the max, like, two months ago. 
Yeah, you were. Sh- <laughs> yeah, you were. You know, I'm trying to think. I've there ch- was one. There was like a week where I was having a hard time with you, where I was like, "This dude's flying off the fucking rails." Yeah, I don't know yeah. what the fuck it was about. Yeah, I thought I was I dying. Know, yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. And then everything would just like fucking went away. I mean, you were the only one experiencing that. So. I know. Yeah, that was a fuck. That was a weird <laughs> thing, though. I was just thinking back to that the other day because I was like taking a shower. I was like, dude, I was like having hair in my drain and shit. Now it's gone. You can actually lose your hair from being stressed. Oh no, shit, dude. Yeah, I do. I do not enjoy that whatsoever. Yeah, I, I bet you that aging. A lot of aging is just stress. One hundred. Because people that are my age that have kids look like they're a thousand to me. Yeah, they get fun. I mean, <laughs> that I yeah, I have horrible thoughts about that. Not even like not pumped to have kids. But, like, I was thinking about your whole dying shit, and then I was, like, and having kids and being, like, fuck. Yeah. I got those fuckers, too. I better check out before them. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely. That's insane. Yeah. But it gives you, like, a whole purpose. Yeah, it gives you a whole Whereas, fucking Whereas, like, drive. you can just, if you're alone too long, it's not good. No. And being alone, like, people don't realize how hard it is. Rogan was talking about it. What, being alone? He's, Rogan was like, dude, it's treacherous for you. I mean, it is, like, first of all, you have to understand, like, it takes a lot of years off your life, statistically. Yeah. It's like Why? smoking six. Yeah, but, dude, the reason that is is, like, a lot of a lot of dudes have little heart attacks. Really? Yeah, like, a lot of dudes have, like, little little heart attacks, like, along Are the way. Are they just beast? Dude, you could beast them, but if you're all by yourself, you'll go down. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Like, think about how many times, like, a wife saves their husband. Yeah. By getting him to the hospital. Tells him not to eat the cheese. Yeah, things. like, you, you're you all by yourself. You go down in the shower, dude. You know, you just got to have a cold shower. You just have cold water on a dead body pretty soon. Yeah. You're you all by all, yourself. You get all printed you didn't, Dude, you didn't have time to clean your house. You didn't scrub your internet history. You don't have anything in... You don't have any of your ducks in a row, dude. dude. It, so, like, this If is, someone dies, you shouldn't be able to go on their fucking shit. I mean, that was like when my uncle Charlie died. My mom and her bo- her girl or his girlfriend were trying to get into his computer. Absolutely not. And they were like freaking out because they wanted to get into his computer to like get to his like bank accounts and stuff like that. I would Hillary Clinton destroy that. And like, yeah, he just they just couldn't they just can't get in. I, I, it's just, just out. It's like, yeah, dude, it's it's over. Like, don't worry about it. Like, there's ways around this. There's legal ways you don't to have do to, this properly. Yeah, you don't have to go into the man's comp. Yeah, if I if I if that happened, I would hope someone. Destroy Especially my phone. dirt balls like that, man. You can't. This, God knows what he was up to. <laughs> Porn beast, dude. <laughs> yeah, that is insane. That that one thing uh, for no reason. This reminds me of my one buddy. He fucking went off the rails when he was, I think, going into freshman year. He was in freshman year of high school or college. Yeah. Went off the rails completely. Just had his computer screen on. <laughs> And he fucking booked to uh, try to go to San Diego with a sawed-off shotgun. And the cops called him in Vegas. Like a manifesto type situation? Nope. Or? He just fucking up and left everything. I think I was a, yeah, I was a freshman in college. Nah, dude, sometimes people just go off the rails. It was, he came back, too, and worked with us. Everything was normal after that, but we just called him a fucking weirdo for doing that. Yeah, man. Life's tough. Yeah. That's like, I, don't, I think like. Life's, that, and that was before all the fucking, you know, mass MK Ultra projects they've been working on us. Yeah, I, I feel like I got, like, when I was in Home Depot today, I feel like I got, like, a taste of what those kids that are coming up in school with the masks and the fucking, they're, like, they're yeah. going to be, like, Cold War kids. Yeah, they're tripping. Yeah, literally. It, yeah. it felt like a fucking weird psychological thing where I was like, what the fuck's everyone doing? Yeah, I mean, dude, I kind of understand back in the day when all those people in, like, the 50s were, like, rock and rolls, the devil's music, like, stop this shit. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because... Shit it, was good. If you had survived the Great Depression, if you were born during World War One, you survived the Depression and World War II, and maybe, the like, you know about the Korean War, know some people in it, yeah. now, all of a sudden, Pink Floyd's fucking out. That you know what I mean? And, like, your kids nightmares. are taking fucking acid and shit. You're like, dude, the world... There's people that that tapped out... Like, then. What do you mean? What do you mean? People tapped out. There's that? people that like lived like, their whole lives and died. Like when like Pink Floyd metal came, like Echoes came out, and they're like, "What is the world?" Oh, and they just you know fucking, what I mean? Like, done. yeah, like you, all all that the world was unrecognizable to them. Yeah. They had just been told we went to the moon. First of all, yeah, fucking right, we went to that the moon. That shit dude. is so. Fake. That's my new shit this week. 
there's no fucking way we went to the moon. I dude, I'm straight up with you. Whatever. There's no way we. There's no. We might have gone there. There's no way dudes got out, walked around, and got back on a ship and got home. Terraform it, bro. That didn't happen. At this point, you get up there in that fucking soda can. You're not terraforming the moon or something. Mining on the moon. Never anything. go back. That's what I'm saying. Kubrick's got all this shit in his movies. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, that's what. I feel like someone, I think like Rogan or one of those dudes were talking about Oculus is just going to be how you get to aliens. Yeah. I don't know, but anyway, there's people that live their whole lives and was like, dude, the world's going, like, you know how we're all sitting there going like, dude, what the fuck's going on? It's just getting crazier and crazier. Yeah. There's people that like, that just never got better for them. They thought the whole world was going to like satanic fucking. Which it kind of did if you watch that. I'm like, just if, saying if, like, they never had a respite from that. Like, they yeah. never got to recalibrate like, all right, this is just the world now. I couldn't imagine being 50. Imagine, like, being a geese and going out in a fucking COVID home, in a COVID wing it's, from pneumonia. Insane. And you're, like, we're, you're in a mass psychosis. Yeah, and they're fucking, it's like, they're doing whatever they want to your body. Yeah, they're just shuffling you in a room because everyone's mk ultra Especially, like, the shit that happened, like, if you just, if you have dementia and they're just throwing you in a room, like, COVID's here. Yeah. It's like, dude, you're looking for Betty. You have no idea where the fuck you are. I just watched a video. This is my dude. My grandma tried to escape every day for like a month. I watched a vi- It was terrifying. I watched a video of an old lady staring at herself in the mirror saying, what's your name? Full-blown conversation with herself in the mirror, Alzheimer's dementia to fucking I mean, hell. what a world, though. If you don't even yes. know what you look like. You know I what agree I mean? with that, That's but at the same time, that is, that is, I think there's going to be an very, I don't know what it's from, but I think a lot of boomers are going to have fucking dementia. It's going to be like, you know, remember the game Twisted Metal? Nah. You could just go around fucking crash cars together. Okay. It was like a demolition derby between cars, and there was one guy, and it was goat. Yeah, he was just like in a big wheel. But you just did that with your cars and fuck cars up. It's going to be like that with the boomers. They're going to be all dementia out, walking in the snow, being fucked. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen to them. Like, was this shit happening when you were young? What? Dementia. Yeah, dementia's always been around. But, like, this prevalent, I feel like everyone's losing their fucking marbles. It's going to be hard. It's hard to keep, you know, it's hard to keep yourself together, keep up with this pace of information. And you know this what I mean? many like, fucking meds. Back in the day, if you had Alzheimer's or dementia, you had to keep up with, like, a daily newspaper and the 6 o'clock news. Yeah, you could fraud pretty good. Yeah, like, you can't keep up with, like, a steady stream. You know, like, a whole internet and, like, how fast information moves now. Yeah. The level of, like, conscious, like, the, how, like, aware you have to be to function today is pretty high. Yeah, you get left in the dust if you're, like, back yeah. three You don't know months. what day it is, you're fucking fried. Tom's hit me with Bitcoin's the next, un, is the next, or unva, unvac sperm is the next Bitcoin. It's like, come on, dude. You're <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. six months behind already. Yeah, it's on Coinbase. Is it? Yeah, it's Fed was hitting me with it yesterday. They put that on Coinbase? Yeah, yeah. It's got like a, a price. There's a price. Can't talk it. about that. I'm sorry. We'll sorry. say that for a different podcast. Yeah, Can't yeah, talk yeah. about it because people will get Maybe all. Maybe your podcast that you're going to do with your friends when you ditch me. It's uh, fine. I mean, just obviously not going to Just try happen. to phase me out with can't, all your friends. It's can't really cool. wait, dude. <laughs> it's really cool. It doesn't hurt my feelings at all. I cannot wait until it's like, hey, man, we can make enough money with houses. It's like, really? And then yeah, that's gonna, what I've been you're doing. You're just going to hear, you know, <clears throat> done, suck dicks. Hoping for that since day one. But, yeah. I mean, it, ta- t- it takes time. This was, this was an insane fucking thing because we were just, just going about our fucking day. What? Minding our own fight. Like, all these people, they don't know. They don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. Whatever they're saying, it don't matter. <laughs> they don't know we were just fucking minding our business. I was fucking down in my basement. What are you talking about? Changing an eight-inch drain, and Matt and Shane said, hey, Spade, come on. And now we're here. Okay, man. I mean, let it go. <laughs> you got to let it go, man. These people don't know me. <laughs> yeah, I am terrified. You're for, giving me dementia jumping around like this. Yeah, I am terrified <laughs> for what's to come with the vaccines and all this stuff. They're gonna, if, the, if this is like if the bad boys win and it's like you're scheduled for fucking vaccines and like, oh, here's a pill to fix this, we are – Toasted. I don't know, man. Hopefully things don't get that bad. I that's the only only fucking silver lining. For some odd reason, everything's starting to feel normal. I don't know if Jeff Bezos is just like fucking jazzed up because he's getting new sniz, but he's not letting fucking Whole Foods employees wear Black Lives Matter masks anymore. 
That's pretty good. He just said, yeah, yeah, cut it the fuck out. It's probably not good for business. It probably makes people feel very uncomfortable. Yeah, it's really bad. I saw one of these like TikTok things where this girl's like, this is a this there's too many white people here. This is like a POC space. And this is like, you know, obviously a college thing. Oh, in college? Probably, yeah. yeah. But it's just like we've we've taken a lot of bad turns if this is if I'm looking at this on Martin Luther King Day. Oh. You know what I mean? You fucking Cuz he had a dream. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Are you about to fucking criticize brave People of color for wanting a fucking... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Slave Master Andrew. You, they just want to fucking their own space. Yeah. It is crazy that once they get a little bit of power, it's like, now you guys being like freaking slave owners. <laughs> Super dicks to white people like all the time. <laughs> freaking carjacking literally everyone. Right, yeah, you sound like my dad. Dude. All right, all right, all right. Just kidding. Yeah, th- those videos are insane. I think... Who was it? Oh, yeah, I was talking to Tom. And he was like, dude, I checked out TikTok. He's like, that is just mind melting. Like, whatever insane, the fuck yeah. that is, like, that is not good for your mental. Yeah. That's what I'm, I was talking to Tom about the other day. It's like, I think we should try to time it where land is super cheap. Eventually, like, when the boomers go, there's going to be, like, no demand for space. Yes. They're like, they're, it's going to drop. I, I wholeheartedly you know, agree be, with that. And then that would be a good time to grab some land somewhere legally that we own. Yes. And then you could try to keep your kids from living in a pod on an Oculus, eating whatever the fuck garbage gets mailed to them from the drone. Because they're gonna met, they're gonna like live in a world where it's like video, like they're gonna goom all day, they're gonna take their pills in the morning, and they're gonna be getting paid to game. And dude, all of these old movies, these all all these old dystopian science fiction movies are like this. Yeah. Like THX and all that shit. Like it's fucking take your meds. Eat your gruel. You know what I mean? Like, here's your soil and green, all that shit. Like, they're all, you know, it's all, like, kind of a weird amalgamation of all the bad stuff that we've been pro- programmed. Like, the whole idea of the predictive programming is to take away the shock so that the people are kind of have, like, some kind of reality to gauge it to where they're like, okay, it's like that. Yeah. Like, because if something comes normal. out of nowhere, they won't be able to handle it and they'll freak out and you can't, the like, the the rulers can't have the whole population freak out. Yeah. They want to get, like, move them like sheep. Yeah, that was, it was you know weird. I mean? Like, they literally did it with coronavirus. Like, at first it was like, oh, this is crazy. Everyone kind of got together and then it kind of yeah. fell off. Then it can't, it keeps on, like, coming back in ways where it's like. It's like they're the, sh- they're like the wolves with the sheep's clothing. That they, like, walk around with the sheep and they guide the sheep. And yeah. they're like, no, no, it's, like, over here, over here, dude. This is where we're headed. And you're like, this is kind of scary, but okay. I'm trying to make yeah. some coin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think with your shit with buying land, I think there's going to be a Goldilocks zone where someone's like, you're a fucking idiot for selling that house in the city. Yeah, like, right. If you have a few houses in the city, at some point, it's going to be so sick. The with- land's at a really high right now. The what? The land yeah, prices land's are at extremely high, right high. Yeah. but I think at some point it's going to be go like Sniz is going to be unreal. The fucking city's like whatever well, you want to do. I have to learn how to be a, a weirder sexual creature, and then we'll get a little bit more traction here, dude. I don't understand why. Okay, this isn't working out <laughs> this for isn't girls working. for any of us. Isn't working out, you know? It's hey, dude. It's because maybe, just maybe. Openly liking QAnon and having hope for a better country dries up girls' pussies. I have no idea why that would happen, but supposedly it does. There is like a section of psyops that the OSS ran that were hope psyops in World War II. I'd fall for them. Every time I'd fall for them. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll, talk, <laughs> I'll talk about... Uh, they have a bunch of uh, different kind of like they would do fear and like, you know, we're living in a in a a ton of fear-based shit right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah. I feel like when it was, There's like... There's also the, Hope PsyOps, which I would fucking... I would take it. that. I, I mean, mean it, we it did ma- take that. It made the 50s. <laughs> like, I mean, Everything's knows, the shit. Dude. That's all fear. And then you got a nice hope, and everything starts getting built up. It is crazy. When I, you, for real, don't believe any historical narrative I've been fed at this right point. Right on. 
You know what I mean? Like, if you're like, oh, it's like the 50s. It's like, dude, what the fuck was the 50s? 10 four, good <laughs> You buddy. don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, everyone coming up and making money. Like, yeah. there's, there may be some, like, great rebuilding period, or it's what you're 50s saying. 50s were great for everyone on today. What? You're going to say today were the 50s great for everyone on Martin Luther King Day? Black people were doing better, yeah. I mean, that sucks, but it's true. <laughs> they were literally doing better. Shit was goat. <laughs> you're going to really talk like that? They had commenters, dude. I know what it's like. <laughs> Literally, no, it's like for everyone to hate you. I can relate. I can relate with my homies. You can relate to Jim Crow? Yes, dude. Yeah. Is Jim Crow black? Or is that a white Was guy? he? I don't know. I yeah. think it's a white guy. Yeah, bigot. Yeah, I think uh, the infrastructure shit you're saying, is that, is that, does that freak you out or is that like sweet infrastructure? Oh, like how the depopulation? Yeah. It's like, it's logistics and infrastructure, dude. Like, if we do hit a fucking cliff of population drop, the boomers drop off, and the millennial suicide rate's anything close to what I think it's going to be. Yeah. Keeping the world going is going to be a 24-7 job. Very hard. We're going to be living in, like, one of these weird, like, and you're not going to want to be in a city center, you know, if you can fend for yourself. Yeah. So if you can go, if you can prepare for it, get solar panels, get some kind of interweb going on. But I'm saying working on the <clears> infrastructure. <throat> you think I like me and you can do it? Me and you could totally you handle Todd it. Todd Hoffman, Parker Schnabel. Ah, dude, you love Gene Parker. Hackman. I'm you like, love Parker. Not dude. Gene Hackman. What's Gene's name? Gene Fuck. Cheeseman. Dude. Gene Cheeseman. Yeah. Me and you would be like Gene I Cheeseman someone, and Parker I Schnabel. I cheese to meet them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that will be fucking nuts though because like something has some like weird culture shock thing has to happen where it's cool to have kids again because we are fucked if we don't have more kids like no i mean it's not even a culture shock thing like you're gonna it's gonna be the back to the days of worshiping sacred life because we're gonna need every ounce of food we find dude dude, like what we're living like that's why this is what i think is like the the great reset and all this klaus schwab and the davos people they think that they're the good guys so if you look at it through their lens yeah. They see this depopulation cliff coming. They know all this shit's fucked. So what are they pushing? Automation. You'll own nothing. Eat bugs. You'll eat bugs. <laughs> yeah. Like they're talking about maintaining the lower levels of like the 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 dummies. They're not built for what me and you are talking about doing. Yeah. We're talking about going out away from the system. But to keep the system going, like if they want to keep controlling and yeah, ruling you people, you need to automate literally everything. They, and dude, they've been slow rolling this shit out like Back in the 90s, dude, when Jones was talking about Bilderberg and shit, and, like, if you watch Endgame, like, the movie, yeah, he, Bilderberg and fucking the Davos, all this is, like, secret. doesn't exist. They said it didn't exist. I know. That's what I'm saying. And now <laughs> it's out to the point where, like, Klaus Schwab wants to do Davos online, virtual reality. You can be in the Davos meetings. Yeah. It's and like, you can see what they're talking about. It's like they've gotten us ready to the point where it's like, all right, we're going to have, like, an Armageddon-level population event where... They talk about an event 201. Yeah, there's all these people are going to die. And you're going to have to co- somehow keep the first world going. You know what I mean? It's going to be tough. I've been training. <laughs> I mean, I don't. it's going to be a lot of work. To have a fucking squad, though? God, this is the shit Elon Musk talks about. That man. would be glory, dude. He talk, he... Elon Musk talks about how, like, people, young people will just be doing nothing but working to keep, like, clean wood, all this shit going. It's going to be a, uh, it's gonna ma- major that'd be sick. You want to talk about predictive programming? That would be a sick movie if you made that. What do you mean? Like, the whole world, and you just got to fucking put on the boots and go to work, dude. Only people left are me, you, and David Goggins <laughs> and some third world <laughs> pussies, dude. Everyone has a fucking fatal case of chestnut syndrome, dude. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, it. Who knows how real any of this shit is, too? It seems this like could it just is. be my psychosis. I'm also, not. too, this is getting us no fucking pick. This is not getting us gales, dude. They go crazy for this shit. You're real. You're a real he man type. They don't know about this that. This is terrible, man. I mean, if for girls, just delete this whole fucking thing. For girls, this isn't the best. I'll agree to that, yeah. <laughs> but you see what they like. And we just can't operate on that wavelength, bro. Yeah, there's got to be a wavelength, man. There's no... For, it's fucked, dude. <laughs> I was out last weekend. It's fucked. It's every time... You used to go out, you used to see the skirts. You used to be like, oh, wind blow, wind blow, wind blow. Maybe... Saw it once. Obviously, so yeah. did I. 
they wear the backpack, yeah. the backpack and the skirt. Like, oh I was God, like the dead the zone, ass. and I made it happen. Yeah, but now you go out, it's like everyone has their face covered. You can't even admire feminine beauty. Everything, it's not. Put on your sunglasses. Put on the sunglasses, <laughs> and people look at me like I'm weird. Yeah, it's like going out now, it's just fucking, it's not happy making time, bro. The pe- the the girls are fucking tricked. Like, I would, I would take them. Give them the hills back. Give them Laguna Beach. Give them whatever ice. they need. Any fucking yeah. TV show you want, you can control the TVs. I'll watch it. But just get off of this weird, semi, very smart person about politics and fucking medicine. You don't know anything. You guys are literally ruining the government. Yeah, and I mean, dude, like, I've, I never, I've never breathed any of this to, to a girl before. What? Like, the way that I talk to you. Oh, that's, I can't you know help. I mean? Like, I don't, I don't do this, though. Like, I, I'll meet people, like, normal. You see me operate. I'm pretty normal. Yeah, but at the at the end of the eye day, contact probably not the best. Eye contact. <laughs> you're like the guy from Love on the Spectrum who keeps looking at towels. Fucking. I'm sorry. I'm stalk. doing. I, I am doing my best though. Obviously, <laughs> you have the, next time you're on a date, you have to look at a girl, look at her in the eyes, almost in pain, and say, "I am doing my <laughs> best." <laughs> they will feel so comfortable with you. Yeah, I mean, hey man, just look at her and be like, "Hey, I'm really enjoying this date, and I'm doing my best." <laughs> And I'm looking at you in your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it don't matter. <laughs> it doesn't. It don't matter what they say. <laughs> the girl stuff. They don't know nothing. The girl stuff, I think, at some point in time, I saw a little bit of hope on the fucking. It's not, yeah. They're starting to complain about their sneaker male boyfriends, and they're getting caught being weird sneaker males who claim to be Democrat, I'm unaffiliated, claim to be Democrat, claim to have Democratic ideals, and they fucking do weird shit. Like try right. to have sex with their girlfriends when, or not girlfriends, they try to have sex with girls when they're sleeping. Okay. That's like a sneaker male thing. They try to like stick a digit in a chick when they're sleeping. Okay. I've never done that. Right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> shit. Yo, go to the Patreon. It doesn't even matter. I mean, what about grabbing like a boob or something? Dude, she was awake probably, right? It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. We'll go up. Is that enough? Yeah. And just before we go to the Patreon, obviously, if anyone unsubscribed, like, that was just one bad episode, so you can resubscribe to our page when you really need the money. Like, I know it's just a dollar. Like, sometimes just, like, the dollar doesn't even matter. It matters. It matters. You can resubscribe. Had a little – it's a minor speed bump on the road to success. I mean, at your job, have you ever had a bad day? I don't fucking sit there and message you and tell you that you stink. And people don't know how bad that was because you bought weird microphones yep. that were screaming – yeah. And then we couldn't even be in the same room. So we're all in different rooms. We're all in different rooms. I mean, that was, all that was on a rugged one. That's yeah, not us. IRL. That's not going to happen again. We're IRL you know? guys. Like we're, 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 Or put me in my, give me my parrot. Yeah, your parrot. Your parrot's My parrot's my home, dude. That was that was literally a test for like maybe to get and some. And also too, like if I was grabbing a boob, it's my girlfriend. Yeah, that doesn't count. Okay. I'm talking like, about like just, they're just you're like. You're trying to make it like no, 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 I was no, no, being like some kind of no, fucking, no, 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 you know, no. dude, I'm not the rapist. Man. That ain't you, bro. That <laughs> you know, ain't you. I know you. Me. If talking, I know you, I know that's I'm just trying you. to get a little. I like hugs and kisses. Dude, I'm with you. I don't remember them. Dude, you was, it was crazy <laughs> back when you were 20. You're going to have chicks sending you nudes if you keep talking like this, bro. <laughs> keep talking about all this fucking beaver you were getting. Yeah, but I mean. Bad week. Doesn't matter. If you want to just get the fucking, Patreon up, people will forgive you. Yeah, I mean, we'll put it up. We'll have fucking fun. We'll just talk about our insults. And they'll likes. they'll redeem themselves, and then they'll then we'll see who's laughing. Maybe they'll start doing the hard work. No, no, I'm saying Pillow and Juliana. Oh yeah, and they're gonna come and they'll be together in the room. And we'll see. I mean, people my, they'll get a good laugh. I I just yeah. don't I don't understand why people get so goddamn hung up. Someone comes in here full of little piss and vinegar. It's like oh fuck that. Guys, what do you want? The, You're obviously over it, though, dude. We won't be talking about this next week either. About what? 
No? Oh, we have a podcast? Didn't even know, dude. You oh, yeah, apologize. Yeah, yeah. You apologizing for absolutely nothing. I will not apologize. If you want to see me apologize, suck my dick, dude. I'm not that. You're out of your fucking mind if you think I'm going <laughs> to sit there and say, "Oh my god, guys. Oh, you know what? I love all you guys. You guys are the best. You're the you best should, people." You should be. You should sell. You should sell your own arc, your own terabyte. I would. Of I'll just send. I'll <laughs> fucking put all of my pictures on my phone on a hard drive, and I'll put it out there. Yeah, yeah. That's all my information because I don't read shit, bro. <laughs> I just fucking look at pictures, and I fucking yeah. half-ass watch videos because I'm getting phone calls every five fucking minutes. So it's fucking memes that could be true or couldn't be true. Euphoria was made in Israel. Shit's fucking weird, dude. I don't understand what the fuck is going on. But I'm going to get to the bottom of it. And when I do get to the bottom of it, we'll probably have enough money not to do a fucking podcast anymore. I'll never tell you guys, and you'll be in the dark, confused. All right.